the evolution of the Giganotosaurus. It started off as something like this with the pronated wrist, unfortunately. Its skull is quite small compared to the rest of the body and it's also quite lanky. I mean, it's not meant to be bulky. So there's that. Chased by dinosaurs, as they say. Then we move on to a more updated model with shorter arms, which is more up to date. It's still shrink wrapped, though it's got that more recognizable Cocorodontosaurid head. Then we move on to a 2010s depiction of the Giganotosaurus. Those spines protruding out are just speculation. We've got quite a recognizable head, it's quite bulky. It's got short arms, and it's also got a nice Cocorodontosaurid head. It's at this point the Giganotosaurus cements itself as the second largest terrestrial carnivore to have ever existed. Then we have an even bulkier version in the 2020s. It kind of just shows that paleontology does not really accept shrink wrapping anymore. Of course, it has an even larger head, much more muscular arms and legs. And overall, it's just really cool to see, with a few more colors, of course. There is also the infamous Giganotosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion, but we don't talk about it. This Giganotosaurus is fine as it is. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below.